Hi there, if you wanna learn how to create some sound effects, then you are in the right place. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create data telemetry sounds all inside of Faceplant. All right, so to start off, I'm just gonna start with a clear instance of Faceplant here. First thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna load a wavetable. All right, so the first effect where I'm gonna add here is a ring modulator. And I'm gonna to wanna to modulate the frequency here with a, an LFO here. So I'm just gonna choose a random LFO and I'm gonna assign that to the frequency here. And I wanna make sure I increase the speed quite a bit here to about 30. You can have it just go in a positive direction here. If you want it to be a bit less frequent, you could just do positive and negative here. And maybe if you don't like those high frequencies, those harsh highs, you can just bring it down just a little bit here. You should get rid of that. All right, so now let's add another effect here. I'm just gonna add a shaper. Just do some really light saturation here. And I'm also gonna add a frequency shifter. So we're almost getting this kind of sounds that we want. Now what's gonna help here is I'm gonna go into my unison here. I'm gonna go down and do a frequency stack. And let's play around with this here. Let's bring it down a little bit to two. All right, and finally, what I'd like to do if I wanna get some more like character out of my sound is I'm gonna load up a sampler here and in here, I'm going to load a different sound. So I'm gonna load this water pump sound that I recorded here and I'm just gonna bring it to like here, let's say, and I'll make it loop because um, I wanna be able to hold the sound for as long as I need. So let's say something like that. And so if I play, I'm just gonna take this off so we can hear it. Kind of what it sounds like here. Okay, and now what I actually wanna do is I wanna take this off completely and I'm gonna assign this to our phase up here. So I'm gonna assign that up here. So you can kind of start to hear it now. And now I actually might take off the unison here so it makes our sound a bit clearer. And maybe bring it down a bit. Right, it can just add this characteristic, this like mo motor like sound. So I can also bring it down if I don't want a lot of it here. All right, just another idea here. Another thing you could do is here I loaded a granular synthesis uh, module and I loaded the same sound in here and I just have it set to really short grain envelope. So it's really, really short uh, sounds. And then I have 11 grains and then I'm just modulating the, um, the start marker here so that it kind of scans the file. So it sounds like this. Right, so you can get all these kind of characteristics going, the sound going, and then layer it together. It makes, it, it kind of brings out, uh, makes it feel a bit more analog, a bit more, like there's some sort of hardware involved. So if you're going strictly for digital sound, of course, don't use this, but if you want to get some more like gritty or analog or some sort of physical hardware sound, this can really help here. All right, thanks so much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, leave it down below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.